Okay, this goes to the hell. Hey guys, I think I'm live. How's everyone doing today? As you're coming on, let me know who you are. And if you have a secret code name, let me know what that secret code name is. Hi, Jamie. Thank you for joining me tonight. And replay viewers, thank you so much for also replaying this. And I hope it helps everybody out. Good. I'm so glad you're doing well. Thanks for coming on. So guys, tonight we're talking about work at home moms. So if you are, or dads, or parents, I don't even know what I wrote, work at home parents. But Jamie, gotcha. If you're a work at home parent, put a one. If you're not, doesn't matter. This stuff will help you anyway. And there's a lot of great ideas. Uh, sorry, close up. There's a lot of great ideas that I'm going to offer you guys that you might find handy, whether you work at home or you don't work at home. All right, a little bit about me. My name is Celia. I'm coming to you live from Baltimore, Maryland. Hey, Brooke. And uh, it's freezing here, as it is, I think, in most of the country. And uh, I have my heater going. And I don't hope that you can't hear it. I don't think you can, but I'm, like, freezing to death. Anyway, <laughs> I am your family empowerment coach. I'm here to help you through parenting, health, wellness, and all the things that can make your kids amazing while making you also amazing. So we're working on all of us as a family. Hey, VC, sorry, I just saw you pop in. I'm sorry. How are you? How are you? Thank you, my good friend. So good to see you on here again. So uh, also, guys, if you're on Facebook, please join my Facebook page, Landmark Parenting. Here it is where we empower kids by empowering, empowering parents. That is a mouthful for tonight. Anyway, join my Facebook group. I'd love to have you as part of the uh, part of the party. And uncle in female is, I don't know. What is it? Is it a question? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, tell me more. So guys, uh, we're going to talk about things that you can do to make your life easier as a work-at-home parent. And like I said before, a lot of these things will help you, whether you're a work-at-home parent or not. You just got kids coming around, getting around you while you're trying to get stuff done. These things might help a lot. So first, I want to discuss with you office setup. And guys, if you have any ideas or any suggestions, please put them in the comments. I'll be looking down for the comments because the way I do this is kind of a two system system. <laughs> so I've got my computer and I've got my tablet where I can see the, the comments. So when I'm looking down, I'm looking down at your comments. I don't say this. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> good. Well, it's, it's, good to, it's good to have you on. I, you haven't been on for a while and it's great to see you. Okay, so your office, your office at home. I like to, I like having you on here. I'm so pleased you're joining me. I've missed you. I missed you. And your little minion face. I love that. Okay, so let's talk about setting up an office. And if you don't work at home, you probably need some kind of work area anyway that's just for you. So let's do that. Let's set up an office. If you have a smaller home, thank you for all the hearts, guys. I love the hearts, and if you share this out, I'd love that too. If you have a smaller home, you can set your office up in a corner of a larger room. It doesn't have to be a closed room. You can put a divider up like this. This is, you know, a four-fold divider. You can separate it for a larger room. You have your area, which is a desk, and for your kids, thank you for inviting uh People, humans, I appreciate that <laughs> so much. If you have kids, you might want to set up a desk for them too so that you guys can work together in the same room. They can kind of do their homework there. Or if it's a toddler, you can have coloring things there and books and all kinds of things that they can do in their office while you're working. So they feel like they're working just like you. You know, you always want to be like mom and dad. You're their role models. They're role modeling your work. 
so the door, this, let's talk about the door for a minute. I want you to put a traffic light on your door, red, yellow, green, red, the door is closed. The red light's on. That means stop. Do not come in. Mom or dad is in the middle of something very important. And you can explain all this to your kids so they understand it in advance. Yellow. Yellow means knock first, wait, and as soon as I can interrupt myself, I will come open the door and see what you need. Green, usually the door's open, the green light's on, come on in, let me know what's going on with you, okay? So if you, the earlier you start the red light, yellow light, green light, the sooner it will become a habit and they'll know exactly what it means when they need to talk to you. Okay, schedule your time with your kids into your day. So you know if you're a work-at-home parent, the day gets crazy and it's hard to work at home. I've been working at home now for over 30 years and I've had my kids, little kids, they were little, they've grown up, they're grown ups now. And now I even have my grandkids living with me. So working at home, as much of a blessing is to work at home is as much of a challenge as it is to work at home. Only you. Only you here. That's okay. I appreciate you being here. And is it only you in your home? You can still branch out and learn some, some new tricks. Okay. So what, you know, the challenge is that you get interrupted all the time. You know, it's not like you're sitting in an office and you're getting things done. I mean, some days you'll feel like you're doing a million things. You're way multitasking too much, which is not good. And you're doing a lot of little stuff and never completing any stuff. So that's the big problem with working at home. Um, now, when you form like your daily schedule, schedule time in for your children. I know it sounds kind of crazy to schedule time in for your children, but I'm telling you, scheduled in so that you're working, say, 10 to 12. Then you and your kids have lunch together. Maybe do something after lunch that's active. You want to make sure you're giving them attention. You know, when you don't give your kids attention, all that's left for them is negative attention, which means they're going to act out, do loud, crazy things, and they won't give you the respect that you need because they're so craving for your attention. So make sure you do that positive attention. Yes, it is my personal website. Thank you for sharing. Absolutely. That's my blog. Here it is. Here it is. My blog, my email. Well, I have to go over here. It's opposite. My email. That's how you reach me. Absolutely. Um, and I do need to put a new blog up there because I haven't in a little bit with the holidays and all I didn't get to put in a blog. Okay. Um, oh, give them your attention in your office. You can even have toys, a little play area. I don't know why I'm looking back there as if like there's a play area. There's not my, my pleasure. Hey, Myra, how are you? Thanks for coming on. How's hot Brazil? Because, you know, Maryland is cold. Okay. Um, now, have a play area for your kids in your office. Make sure they have toys and things that can keep, that can keep them occupied. Creative things. So it, like, you know, it keeps their brain working. Um, limit, try to let, you know, a lot of times parents that work at home, they use a tablet as a babysitter. Actually, I was just talking to a grandma the other day who said she uses a tablet pretty much to babysit her grandchildren. And guys, although a tablet once in a while is okay, you don't want it to totally occupy your time. Are you in Brazil too? Really? Well, mine was in Brazil too, so you're all very hot and we're all very cold. I didn't know that. I don't think I knew that. Anyway, touch base with Myra. Yeah, hotter every day. There you go. Good you guys can connect. 
You're so jealous. I'm so jealous. <laughs> you always want what you can have, right? You always want what you can have. So, um, okay. <laughs> I get distracted. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, tablets and computers. It's really important, guys, if you have young children, that your tablet be limited. Kids cannot learn electronic speech. They need to learn human speech. You may not that you know you may not be able to distinguish between the two, but there is a huge difference. I feel like I didn't know that. I feel like I did not know you were from Brazil. Maybe I did and I forgot and I apologize. But I, I'm not sure if I remembered that. But now I know. And you guys can be buddies. So back to speech and, ta and electronic speech. Do not let a tablet or the web or games teach your child how to talk. You want to supplement it fine, but your child will have speech impairments and difficulties if they learn their speech electronically. So human speech, reading, talking, it's great when you're working to schedule in a half hour break to read with your child. You want to constantly have that human speech with you and your kids. All right. Try to work as much as you can if they're little during their naps and their sleep time. Most kids go to bed early at night. And if they don't, you might want to start working on that so that you can work while they're asleep as opposed to you always working when they're awake because that will cause some kind of problems. Goodbye, VC. You are my friend. Stay warm. I know you will. I'll stay cold. You stay warm. Thank you for stopping in and visiting. And thanks for all the hearts. All right. When your kids interrupt, when you're in the middle of a phone call and your children inter interrupt, make sure that you recognize them, but you can simply say, honey, I'm busy right now. I have to finish this phone call or I have to finish this report. Back at you, Tia. Or I have to finish whatever it is. Make sure you recognize them and then say, honey, I'll be with you in a minute. And then as soon as I'm done this project, I will give you my undivided attention and then give them your undivided attention. Don't go back on your word. Let them wait. Let them understand that you need to finish. That's perfectly fine to explain to a child, but then give them your undivided attention once you're finished. Okay. We talked about negative attention, so I'm not going to bring that up again. Positive attention, positive attention. Let me turn the page because I don't have this all written on one page. Oh, this is very important. And guys, this is really important whether you have kids or not. Schedule your time for emails and phone calls. Do not just allow you to be accessible 24 hours a day. Even if you're at the job, schedule your time and let your par your, your parents, let your clients know, I will be looking at my emails at 11 o'clock in the morning and three in the afternoon, whatever times you choose. I will be responding to phone calls at 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock, whatever time you choose. Because if you let people constantly interrupt you, you will get nothing done. People should respect your time just as you should respect other people's time. So that is incredibly important regardless of whether you're a work-at-home parent or you're at the job site or you're not even a parent. Schedule your emails and your phone calls because you know how it is. You can spend all day on emails and phone calls. And don't do, thanks for the super heart, Myra. I love you. Thank you so much. Don't do your emails first thing in the morning. When you, oh, when you get up and you get started, start on a project rather than start on an email. Okay? Because emails, you know, You'll get absorbed and before you know an hour and a half has gone away and you've gotten nothing done. You're so, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, Myra. All right. When you start a project, 
stick with it till it's finished. I mentioned this in other talks about working, but even with kids, make sure you focus on one project at a time. Do not multitask. As I said before, if you multitask, you're going to get started on a million different projects. Your kids are going to interrupt you or a phone call or something will interrupt you. And then you will not have anything finished by the end of the day. Do one job and finish it. Schedule your meals into your into your schedule, your daily schedule, your meals, your prep time. If you know to go sh need to go shopping, schedule that all in. Plan your meals ahead of time. Maybe on the weekend, cook bigger meals that you can break into smaller meals so you can just pull one out of the freezer and stick it in the oven so you're not spending too much of your work day with preparing your meals and cooking and thinking of something to make. Crock pots can be your best friend. Plan shop for the meals of a crock pot. Thanks for all the hearts. And put that crock pot in in the morning, set it up, and you're ready to eat at night. Really work on getting those meals in an organized manner so it's not 6, 5.30, you're just finishing your work. Before you know it, it's 6 and you have to order food in, something fattening, something not so good for you. Plan ahead. Special times. Our fun fit classes that I have for 30 years are parent-child exercise classes. Find a parent-child class in your area that you and your child can do together. It can be on the weekends. It can be at night. It can be in the mornings if you work at home whatever, but schedule that special class, art classes are fun, pottery, dance, exercise like fun fit, you know, swimming, all kinds of things that you can do on a weekly basis with your child that your child can look forward to doing with you. And then what else we got? Oh, guilt. As I said, was it last night when I talked more about work or the night before? I can't remember which one I did. Don't feel guilty. You are teaching your child a good, strong work ethic. You're teaching them what it's like to manage a household, be a parent, and have work as well, and being able to manage all of that together. You are being a good role model you are showing a shining example for your children, so don't feel guilty. Guilt gets you nowhere. Organize your life so you can be the role model for your kids that you want your kids to be as they grow up. Okay, so that's what I have to tell you about working at home. I hope this helped. I hope you can try a few of these tips. If you try the light, tri the red light, yellow light, green light tip on the door, let me know how that works for you. Any other tri tips you try, oh, I can't speak. Any other tips you try, reach out to me, let me know. Again, join my parenting group on Facebook, Landmark Parenting. Put some stuff in there, some comments. Other things that you would like me to talk about and go live about. And just so you know, guys, I am live on Facebook on my personal page Monday through Wednesday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm going to change my time on Periscope, guys, heads up, to 9 o'clock at night, not 9.30. 9 o'clock at night here on Periscope Monday through Friday. Remember, Fridays is free for all Fridays, so we'll be able to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about tomorrow night, so come on with me. Thank you for sharing this out. Thank you for the super heart, Myra. Thank you for staying with me and replay viewers again. Thank you also for replaying and listening, and let me know how else I can help you guys become amazing parents so you can raise amazing kids. I'll see you here tomorrow night, wishing you all peace, love, and loads of laughter. See you here tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock on Periscope. Bye, guys.